Hello everybody, welcome back to another wonderful day of Charlotte Wars Adventure and Factorio here. So what's going on, what's going on? Well, looks like we need more <laughs> you know, iron miners here because we're running low. Let's check our power system, looks like we're going to need to upgrade our power system, which means we're going to need a lot more plates. So to snag a bunch of plates, we need, what, 75 plates to do what we need to do? And this is our coal. Oh yeah, we need to finish the optics here so that way we can do the... Yeah, that's right. So how are you all doing? Hopefully everyone is doing well. I know our factory here is doing extremely well. I might be able to build another one of these things to speed up the process but again we need more resources <laughs> it's always a case of resources and I want to build another miner so we need to do that first and let's build some more transport belts because we need to add some more belts to this area here so that way we can you pump this with you know, just a little bit more resources and looks like we do have to watch out for the aliens. I'm not sure how far the pollution is going. Hopefully it's not going all the way up there, otherwise we're gonna have a problem very very soon. <laughs> Let's see here. A few plates there. Okay, let's see if we can position this like so, and then like so. And then we do another one of these. Think like that maybe and so that should be just a little bit more iron let's see here this should help with the flow of iron a little bit which means we should get a few more so now so now how are we gonna automate this process so basically let's take care of this How's this going? Looks like that is going to be done. Okay, once that is done, that is done. Same with that. Let's pick these up. Okay, so this stuff is done. Let's... Ah, uh, shoot. We just still need the... You know, this to go on. Let's take this out. So this stuff is going to f feed into here. So we'll we'll keep this kind of working um, now. As far as all of this stuff here, so what I want to do is maybe create a smelting system here. Hmm. Let's think about this for a second here. I might need some more stone. So how are we gonna get stone? Oh man, I have to do it by hand. Oh, that's brutal. This feels so so petty um, can we use one of these bad boys and let's just do it right into that and uh, that I think will be a hell of a lot better than doing it by hand it's gonna take a while but that's okay let's do another furnace I'm just trying to think of a setup here so we're basically going to do what we have done before right we're going to Go down the middle, which means that this will probably be like this. Hmm. This might be actually beside that. Let's see if we can grab some more stone here. Oh yeah, look at that, there we go. Now we're kind of rolling in the stone a little bit. So this one will be the copper. And so what will happen with this is we will basically yeah let's do that we only we only need the four uh, let's create some more belts okay and so then well, what we need to do with this is change the belt so we're going to smash it together right here so we're going to add that and that All right so the copper of course and let's see here, let's grab some more plates, plenty more plates, let's 
build a bunch of those. Let's actually fill up these. Um, no. Shift. Control right click. Uh, control right click I think does have a stack. Which is good. And this stuff. This stuff would go up. That's why we need a splitter. Because then we can split it to go to the iron. And I think the iron we're going to do something very similar with, I think. Let's take a look. Ah, okay. So now what's next here? We're going to need the logistics because we need these things. So that's going to use up 80. Okay, perfect. So this is going to get fed into here. This will get used up slowly. And then we'll be able to output these basically onto belts. All right, we'll probably just do it like that. Let's create five more of these. Ah, oh, we need more materials. It's always more materials. But now it looks like that third miner is, is definitely helping with the, the efficiency of this. Let's see here. We do have copper ore to smelt. And then these bad boys, like like this. Where do we put the power poles? That's the next kind of fun step. In between here, in between here, we need maybe just like that, right? And then we can do. Sure, it's not going to line up, but that's okay. And then what we can do. Ah oh, man, we need more belts. We need so many more belts. <laughs> oh man. Sheesh. It's not enough. Look okay, at we can make some of these lamps. Let's make five of those. Looks like we need more copper. So we'll grab a bunch more copper. Okay, so the belts. Oh, what's going on here? We're out of power? Oh, we're out of fuel. Fuel. Hmm. Okay, no problem. We'll fix that. Let's throw that in there. As well. There we go. Now we're back up and running. Whew, that's dangerous. We need to get those splitters in place. So can we make another one of these bad boys, these labs? I think we need a lab. Oh, see, once we got that, that coal up here, it's, it's changed everything. Way better, way better results. So let's tie this stuff together. Do we not have enough power going on? Yeah, we might not have enough production. That's so weird. Oh no, it's the fuel. Go, it's the fuel. Yeah, we need to definitely finish that logistics because yeah, it's just not going fast enough. Huh. Let's see how this goes. I've never seen it actually be like this. Do we have to replace this with an actual like faster one? That would be terrible, but if we have to, we, we certainly can. Let's see if we do that. Yeah, see that is a, a tad quicker. At least now with the coal, it's going. It should go through a lot faster. I wish it would take the the wood first so we'll do that we'll make sure it uses up the wood which should produce enough steam okay I think we're okay now yeah right here is that little glitch <laughs> oh boy 
you need to watch this closely because once it uses up that stuff now see now we can put some lights in so let's put a light here uh, they're nice and bright let's put a light in right there let's put a light over kind of in this area and let's put one over here we definitely need to put kind of one like that and then one like let's see ah uh, need more lights these lamps are just awesome i love these lamps we definitely need to mass produce these ones as well can we build another miner no we need more resources shabam shabam okay now we can do another miner there let's kind of finish off this belt here let's check how long we've been recording for looks like 11 minutes excellent ah this is going so fast so now what are we going to do with these plates right that is the next step well here we have this right so once this all gets used up oh we need to make sure we have power 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 okay it looks like this is slowly making its way there's still some wood in there um, we should fill this up we should fill up all the other ones as well those ones we don't need to and these ones we still need to pick up the iron I just want to do like this and then I think I built one yes we did do that perfect okay this is all the copper it's all headed down in this direction and this is all going into here which is then going into here which then goes, I don't know, it's going to go probably into here. We might actually make it go up and you, you create kind of like a bus up here going on either end. You'll make the research on the left hand side here. Maybe we'll make, yeah, we need a splitter, so we need the logistics to complete. So let's make another research lab. That is definitely. Yeah, that's definitely something we're going to need. Let's pick this stuff up here. Okay. I like this. I like this. So that research lab is being built. And it looks like this is a lot quicker. I think it was because we ran out before. There, now we got some fuel there yeah we're definitely going to need to to hook in a splitter here because this is retarded this manual method it was kind of cool but I don't know I'm tired of it now so that should keep up and we should build another radar unit ooh gun turrets exciting times what do we need to make bullets just iron plates so we definitely need to increase our iron production. We need to do something similar. So maybe we'll split the belt. And then we'll split the belt again for the the uh, the copper plates or the plate production. And how's this going? This uh, should all disappear eventually. Uh, let's see here. We might just dismantle all of this stuff should be enough here so maybe what we can do is kind of do this let it produce and then this we'll let it finish the the last kind of research a container here I want more come on it sucks having to wait, but I want to destroy this. And I don't want to destroy it. There we go. Perfect. Do that. That. And let's pick up some of these belts. Because. Well, because exactly this. We're 
we're in the process of redoing things. So now all of these we don't need like that. We can pick this all up. Okay, now let's pick that stuff up. Uh, this sh should all complete. So we'll let it complete. Okay. Now I'll pick this all up. Because we're going to dismantle this, this area. And we're going to... Yeah, we're going to, of course, carry on with what we're doing here. Let's see here. So we pick this up. Okay. This is all fine and dandy with me. So we want to create another area. Let's see here. So if we do another belt like this, this would be the, the, the iron, I think. Uh, let's see. I think we do stacks like that. We need some more of these. We need to add more fuel to that. Let's throw in a bunch of fuel here. Let's grab the stone. That's a lot of stone. One, two, three, four. So let's see how many eight will do. We want to bring the, the line up this way. Want to continue with the other four in a pattern as such. Now I don't know how this would be for efficiency, but I kind of like the design of it. And hopefully this will be enough plates, because if not, I don't know what will cause this. So let's do this, and let's actually bring this up. Ah, we need more. More belts, more belts. Okay. And then we're gonna have to bring in this stuff. So this is why we need the underground belt. Hopefully the logistics will finish. Otherwise we'll have to snake this through, down this way, around. Ah, oh, it's gonna be dirty. I wanna kinda bring this you down, you go over, across, go over, up and around kind of idea. And I don't know if this is going to work now. Because... Uh, no, no, it should be able to work. So we'll put the splitter right here. And then we'll bring in the iron into here. So that means... The iron should go like this. Like that. And then we'll have the coal going on the other side here. And that should kind of do it. So let's kind of position these in a way that make a lot of sense. Let's try it like this. And then we want to, of course, do the same with these. Okay. And then we need to place these bad boys somehow. So we want to maybe do it like this. Boom, boom, boom. Like that. And then do the same on this side. Shabam, shabam. And there. And then we'll do, we'll drop a couple. Drop one here. And then one uh, up here. Okay. And so that will power everything. Okay. Logistics is almost done. So let us actually try and create 510. Let's see here. So we can probably pick these up. And I think we'll be able to go down this way. And yeah, at least we'll be able to outline kind of where 
these will go and right now this is very sneaky and kind of weird but that's okay this will all make sense in a bit and then you and then what we're gonna do up here is we're gonna bring these up and then off of what we'll need we'll be able to produce what we need to and kind of create a mini bus up here to kind of mass produce the research a little bit better maybe to produce a few more plates and all that erasmataz and fun stuff like that what else do we need to do here well it's basically waiting for this so we did build another one of these research labs so let's position it like so and let's do that okay so now that should be a tad faster yeah I think this is starting to move a little bit quicker so hopefully there's enough of these packs if not we'll have to make some more packs man this is good folks this is good we're producing this is where we're producing the stone which is great I'm still kind of thinking about all this area here. Let's put in a light, like so. We can actually pick some of this belt up. And... Now let's do this. Let's bring it over and then upwards. And maybe we'll do the same with this. We'll bring it over and upwards. And this will be the start of the bus. Yeah, let's just produce all of the belts. We might have to make some more iron here. Okay, like that. Okay, and here's the start of our bus. Okay, so that's exciting. Very exciting. Okay. Come on, logistics. It's so tough. So I tell you what, I will come back when this is done. Alrighty, so here we are. So we got that all done. What are we going to do next? Well, we need to do the ones that are only the red. So I think we'll hold off on everything right now and we shall tear up the research here because we don't need it right now. So we're going to redo the research area. Okay. So now with that done, we need to build some of these belts, which means we need some plates, which means we need to do this by hand a little bit, <laughs> which I knew this would happen always does always does when you tear up stuff so let's kind of put half into each of these okay and let's grab a bunch of materials I need a bunch of plates throw them in here <laughs> this is so funny there's another batch here and here okay so those will make plates for us that's kind of what we need and once we make enough plates we need to make one of these bad boys and we need to make kind of one of these so we need to what 22 and a half okay that's all right we'll just stand right here picking these up let's see what do we have 30 okay so we can do a splitter let's do actually an, another splitter <laughs> oh man okay well let's get this going so the splitters are coming and then what we need to make is those underground belts it's another thing that we need because that is definitely going to help as well. So we need a couple of these bad boys. Okay, so we got a splitter here. Shabam, okay, that's that. 
And then we want to do some of these. So we'll probably just go underneath, like so. And then we'll do the same over here. And then that's it. That will make this automated. And I think we will have been successful. Let's dump this coal into here. And then we need to make another belt. We have to make a belt jog over this way. So we're going to probably do it like that. And we'll just make it go like this. Let's see here. Try and dump that away. Now we're making a ton of plates here. That's the plan. Okay. 79 plates, perfect. 5, 10, 15. And we definitely will need probably one of these inserters. And can we bring it across? Ah, come on. <laughs> come on, can we do it? So we want to go all the way across. Oh, nice. And then we want to... We created one of these bad boys. So now we can basically deposit stuff into here. And now this is all pretty much automated. I could probably get rid of this box, but it's good to have a storage in case we run out. So that way we can maintain our power. And here we go. So now here is our wonderful iron. And now we got a ton of iron. Now we can continue to process and build everything. So there you go. So here's the start of our early kind of you know, bus system kind of where we bring down our materials and then build what we need to the next thing we'll have to re-establish is our research and then we'll have to establish um, wall production because i think we can do that now so we'll have to do some wall production we'll have to turn these into bricks and whatnot and yeah do something similar so thank you everybody for watching hopefully you've enjoyed this episode and i look forward to seeing you in the next one bye bye